Tony, you can smile. That's a big three points for you, isn't it? Yeah, it was a very good... It's not just the three points. Clean sheet and a very, very good performance from the lads. You know, first ten minutes, you know, I don't know what they clear two or three off the line, and you're thinking, you know, let's hope it's not going to be one of those days. But we kept going, we kept going, and they were always dangerous on the break. They've got some very, very good players. They've spent a lot of money on their forward line, and they've got some good players. So they, they, were, they, they kept us on our toes at the back. Um, but I don't think anybody can argue that we deserve to win the game today. When you create that many chances, what does it say about the character in the side that they keep going and they score reasonably late in the game? And it comes from your captain, a midfielder, when Anichibi's worked hard all day as well. Well, we, the fitness levels are very good, um, and I think we showed it today. You know, we played away. Our last game was an away game down at Swansea. It was difficult to get back and sort everything out. So, you know, the medical team and uh, the, you know, the people who uh, looked after the players, turned them over, have done a great job because we, you know, we kept going and kept going and kept going, and in the end, Thank God the, the dam burst because they didn't have to defend stoutly at times. Jonas Olsen and Victor and Ijebi look like they both got hamstring problems. Is that we're, just fatigue over yeah, two we're, games we're, in three we're days? we're not sure whether they're hamstrings. They might just be cramped. The, you know, Jonas obviously has pulled up because he's stretched or overstretched a little bit, so he was concerned. And Victor, it was just he hasn't played for ages, so we're hoping the two of them will be uh, ready for Stoke next week. Your home form hasn't been great, so to end 2015 with that home win, must make you feel an awful lot better. Yeah, I think I've been here at, uh, for 38 games today and someone's just told me that's 50 points out of 38 games. So it's, it's not a bad return. Um, but, you know, you're always striving to do better. This football club needs changing around in lots of ways. And it's a difficult, it's a difficult challenge for us. And you need time. And you need, if you get results, you're given the time. And that's what you need. I was surprised, I've got to be honest, to see Saido Berhino come on for the last 20 minutes after what you said to me no, before no, the game. There's no, there's no surprise. You know, Saido at times, um, you know, has got to understand it's, it's about the team and it's about doing things together and being together. And, um, you know, he's, yeah, he's been told everything's all right. He was fine. You know, I've, I've pulled him and told him and he understands. And, you know, that, that was fine. And, you know, there was no problems bringing him on. Do you want rid of him in January? No, not at all. You know, we're... we're Keen to, to keep the glad year. Obviously, you know, he's had a, a very, very, um, well, not even up and down season because of what happened in summer. Um, but, you know, the kid will get better and stronger for it.